Royal Bank of Canada announced it has entered into definitive agreements to sell all banking operations in the Eastern Caribbean to a consortium of indigenous banks within the region. The sale encompasses the branches of Royal Bank of Canada in Antigua, Dominica, Montserrat, St. Lucia and St. Kitts and Nevis as well as regional businesses operating on the RBC Royal Bank Holdings EC Limited in Nevis, Grenada, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. People have been speculating about the stability of financial institutions in the Caribbean. In a previous Beyond the Headlines program, during which the Republic Bank's Kosha Bank acquisition was the focus, retired banker Michael Achebel, OBE, said the international banks made their intent clear years ago. I think there's certain realities that we have to we have to understand now in Grenada number one and in the rest of these small islands and that is that the inter international banks are leaving. They have signaled that uh, 10, 15 years ago and we have seen them step by step closure of branches closer and leaving. So they are going and you know I hear people wishing otherwise but the wishing is not going to change what's going to happen. They have made some decisions, the risk-reward calculation in their view. It is not worth the risk to continue operating in these little islands. A bunch of little branches spread all over the place, which requires administration, etc. And at the same time, the level of profitability that they get at this point, they don't consider that to be sufficient. And lastly, there's a very strong risk um, problem at this time where they can be charged for um, any, any, any transaction that they consider to be money laundering or um, terrorist financing. And those fines are in, in the region of $20 million, $10 million. The banks have made a decision that it is simply not worth it anymore, so they're going. Economist Ambrose Phillip recalled that this is the direction the Eastern Caribbean Central Bank pointed to. It is in line with the strategy and the eight-point plan set forth by Dwena a long while ago. Not only that, in June last year, our new governor, Timothy Antoine, had a consultation on the question of consolidating the national banks in the region. There is a program on now to get functional cooperation between the domestic banks going. It is led by the ECCB. Philip said that mergers can be good. Mergers can result in benefits to the consumer. I believe um, increased economies of scale, efficiencies, whether or not these will be passed on to the consumer is debatable because mergers are not designed per se to benefit the consumer, they're designed to benefit the shareholder. And in that regard, I think that the central bank has a critical role to play, particularly where the cost to users for return checks for ATM fees, I think that the, the, the regulator, the ECCB, needs to play a more aggressive role in that regard. The financial terms of the RBC transaction were not disclosed. Cherry and Blackman Stephen, GBN News.